Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Fluentspace 3D and today we're going to be looking at navigation inside T5 specifically the new edit camera function. So I'm going to open up a scene I've got here. So we've got our traditional methods of navigation which is our um, drag and pull method. So let me just show you everything here. Here we go. So just pull and push, drag left and right if you want to rotate. We've got our elevation modes here, so to elevate the camera, control the pitch up or down. We've got spin, which spins us in a circle. Okay. Uh, we have pan, which uh, allows us to pan up and down, left or right. We have phase 2, which is quite useful. Basically, phase 2 allows you to orientate the camera automatically to any surface you click on using the phase 2 function. So this is quite a nice, quick way to get around the room. Okay, but onto the one we really want to focus on, which is edit camera. Okay, uh, what's nice about edit camera is it provides us with a little uh, plan view window of our room, as well as two little icons. One being the camera icon, and one being our target point icon, which is this blue crosshair here. So if I were to click and drag on my camera it automatically orientates the camera to that specific view. Okay, you can move it anywhere in the room and uh, it would choose that view. You can do the same for our target point, move that anywhere in the room and our camera will automatically look at that target point. We've got some other additional options here such as focus. This controls our um, depth of field for example. Uh, if we make this 12 press enter, you can see how that lens really distorts our image. You can go up to 45, very close in. Okay, so our default is always 22, enter. We can do things like change our camera height, so I could make that 1.8 meters for example, as well as our target height, which I could make 200 for example. So I'm just going to go back to my standard there of 1 200 and 1 200 great thing about this is it allows us to save views. So let's say I've got this view of the kitchen for example. I can click save. I can call this uh, kitchen view. I can move my camera around to look at the um, lounge. So let's just bring this in over here. Alright. And uh, let's look down a bit my lounge, click save, and call this lounge view, okay, and if I click on camera list, it brings up previous um, views that I've got, as well as the ones that I've saved originally, so if I go to view 2, it gives me a picture of the, the view of the, the kitchen, if I go right to the bottom, I've got my kitchen view there, as well as my lounge view, which I've previously saved. It also contains a list of automatically saved uh, views. So this is another really cool way of navigating around a scene. Just click and drag your camera or your target point to end up in a new point. And that basically covers our edit camera option.